guys. So um, I'm going to start off with um, this is um, Melita Skin Food. This is a like a healing healing balm. So it's quite a thick, um, really good for dry skin. So like your elbows, your knees. Um, and I've got really got dry skin at the moment because in Perth it's um, pretty cold. I'm just warm the product up because it's quite a thick product. I'm going to warm it. I've warmed it up in my, and then rubbing a bit everywhere and using my brush to blend it in. So yes, yeah, so I'm using this as a primer. So I've cleansed, toned and moisturized and I actually did a good scrub as well today. And so this is just going to hydrate it. This is going to hydrate it, but also um, prime. So it's going to be a beautiful canvas for the rest of the makeup. So this is my last day in self-isolation. So I thought I'd do like a get ready with me, even though I'm not going anywhere, but I'm going to pretend that I'm going to um, dinner with girlfriends and then we're going to go to the casino or something fun like that. So I'm going to do some bronze and glitter. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to do them off camera. Um, I haven't uploaded, or well, I, prob I probably will upload this video before this video, um, doing my evening bolder glam eyebrows. So I'm using the Eco Brow Gel, sorry, Eco Brow Wax and the Eyes of Hor Horus um, Brow Fiber. Sorry, I can't get my words out. <laughs> so I'll do this off camera and I'll be back once I'm done. Right, so I've done my brows. They're um, definitely cousins today. Not um, not sisters. Definitely that one's slightly higher than that one. I might s smooth that one out a little bit later when I do my um, foundation. So I'm taking the Sugar Venom Eye Primer now. I'm going to prime the lids. So for my two week isolation, I've been doing lots of lots of self love journey as well as um, I had a beautiful Reiki session today. And um, yeah, yogaing a lot. I finished pretty much a whole book series. I only got one more to go. So that was three books I read. So I'm just um, using this to, to neaten up that edge there. Just gonna blend the rest of it with my Finger. So I'm going to do this eye and then I'll do this eye off camera and then I'll come back and do the um, foundation and everything else in a bit. So you can see the difference. So that's just creating, you want a sticky product for your products to stay on longer but you also want to prime like you do your face. So make sure it's an even coverage and it's going to make the pigments of the eyeshadow stand out a lot more. So I'm taking the MD Naturals Mineral Powder now and I'm just going to set that cream product in to, so then when I blend the um, other eyeshadows in it's going to work beautifully. So yeah, I am um, doing a lot of yeah spiritual work within myself so doing all the chakras and so I'm doing a self love journey as well and with Jo, I'll actually tag her in below, why not? Um, and um, it's all about your chakras. So we're doing grounding chakras now and I've worked out that I'm definitely grounded. All right, so I'm going to do a brown sort of smoky eye and then I'm going to add it probably I'm going to do glitter on the inner corner and then I'm going to do a gold glitter liner on top so we're going to go for browns and gold and all that fun stuff. Um, so I'm going to use the medium, um, the medium sculpting powder from MG Naturals. This is in their shade medium. I'm going to use this just to warm the whoop, dropping brush. I'm going to use this big fluffy brush, and we're going to just go in the crease. So the crease easily is to put it in the center of your eye, open it, and just work with your natural creases like that. So you can do that for a little while and then once you know where you're going, you can close your eye. And so we're going to work in the crease but going upwards because we want this to 
go in your crease but a little bit higher because this is what's going to blend all the rest of the eyeshadows in. So windscreen wiper and circular motions. So I want to deepen the product on just this section so I'm going to focus there. Oh dear, it's weird not doing this without makeup blasting. I usually do this with some medicine music. I've been really enjoying drumming and flutes and all that kind of music. Right. So I'm going to take a clean blending brush and we're going to just soften that out. Cool, so with sort of like a medium, um, with a medium blending brush now I'm going to take Spiced by MG Naturals. Now this is actually cleaned, I have scrubbed it with soap, but the blue pigment's decided to stain. So yeah, you can see it's not, it's just decided to stain in there. So we're just going to deepen the crease and then we're also going to, instead of focusing up, we're going to focus a little bit more on the lid. So this is a bit more of a um, warmer, warmer brown shade. So both of these shades are matte as well. I'm going to do my lid shade in a darker brown with a bit of shimmer just to add a little bit of, starting to add a bit of glitter to it. See I'm focusing this now more on the crease but the lower side of it, so a little bit on the crease and my lid. So I'm following my natural eye shape with this look as well, so I'm just, I'm not trying to create it out, I'm just following my natural shape. Taking a bit more of that product. So this is just deepening up that crease. Same motions as I did before, but I'm using a bit more of a denser brush as well. Alright, so I've lost a little bit of that other shade, so I'm just going to a little bit more and I'm just going to blend them two together. So this is slightly like the crease, but slightly higher and going upwards. The difference with the brush, so I'm doing this up and another one I was doing sort of direct and, and down. This is just going to blend them together and um, smooth out any edges. And then on that, the very end I'm going to... So if you get any product that's so going too far off that we can clean that up later with foundation. Whoa, there's a storm coming, I can hear it. So I've actually closed all my windows and the front door because, um, well, one, I had noisy neighbours because I'm actually in a cabin in my caravan park where I normally live with the caravan. Cool. So I'm going to take this same brush, but I'm going to use the flat edge now and I'm going to take Crawford. So this is by Sugar Venom. This is a very dark brown shade, but it's got with some shimmer glitter in there. And so this is going to go directly on the lid. So with the loose eyeshadow too, I've shown this a few times in my videos. So the products on that brush, I dipped it in and then I use the lid for any excess and I work in with the lid. So packing it on the brush. And this is also why I do my eyes first with any um, really dark dramatic looks because then if any fallout comes, I'll just wipe it off. And then there's no ruining any foundation. So I'm just... I'm. I'm just putting this on the lid, following following my natural shape of my lid. I'm wanting this product to be even, so I'm just going all over and just patching it on. So I don't want to drag this any, any bit higher, so I'm just going to the crease. And I'm not doing any cut creases or anything like that. Ooh. This weather is funny. I can see dark rain and clouds there and then the sun's shining in that way. And then it'll go dark again soon. So I've just added a bit more product. So you're wanting the, the most of the product to be on the, the main lid and then sort of lightly blending that with that sort of medium brown shade. So I want to open it. I just want it to be right on that lid. Going no higher than the crease. Now with no more, pro no extra products, I use this when I blended in that medium 
more warmer brown shade and I'm just going to blend these two together because I'm going for a soft smoky sort of look, nothing harsh and then that's this oh, softer glitter I'm going to take the gold and I'm going to go with the, the light one so I should probably get rid of this product soon. I've had it for a while. So this is an, a new by nature, illum, like a new illuminating um, cream. I actually use that to help stick on the glitter. I find that you don't need anything harsh, like the glitter glue is quite sticky and harsh. Um, but this works just as well. I actually did use this a few times, but I find that it's too um, oily in the eyelids. I did, yeah, and it gets, um, it gets a bit creasy. So I'm only going to put the glitter on the inner, inner corner. So I'm going to dip my brush into that um, just like a little bit. So you don't want it to be too thick because it's going to interfere with the eyeshadow, but just lightly. I'm just going to go on the inner corner. Just putting that very softly where I would like the glitter to stick. So again, I'm not going too high on my crease. I'm going right at the crease on my natural shape. Oh. So dipping the glitter in. I always dip it into the product and then any excess I add to the lid. And I'm just going to put that on where exactly where I put the that um, illuminizing product where I want it to stick. So with no extra glitter, I'm just going to sort of feather and soften out the glitter so it's sort of gradual rather than just plonk right there. So I went in just where the crease is, exactly where I applied the eyeshadow. And it, see, I'm just trying to soften it out there. Just to deepen it up. And the reason why I put this all over the lid rather than just there is so that, so the glitter, I wanted it to be, like I wanted the colour to shine through a bit so it'll be all blended and smoky. That makes sense. Probably not making sense. Cool. And now with that the um, fluffy side, I'm just blending it together. Cool. Okay, so I'm just going to follow my natural lash line. I'm also I'm not going to go in with the black to a wing because I want the gold liner to be the wing. I'm just doing a thin line on that lash line. This is just purely to just add some more depth to the eyes, but also to help with the hide the lash line from the false lashes. So just stopping where my natural lashes stop. You want it to really go in to connect to your lashes so there's no lid showing. So I'm just going to, I'm actually going to start this with where my glitter stops. So I'm only going to do a half and then to a wing. So I'm starting where that finishes. I'm just going to go very, very thin over the top with the black. So I'm going to go over the black I'm going to dip the product in Some of the blacks come in, but I actually don't mind. 
probably should have waited for that product to dry a bit more. This is by Benny Crease. This is their vegan mascara, and it's actually a dark blue shade. Just a very thin amount of putting our false lashes on. This just helps it blend with the false lashes a bit better. So I'm using this this. I'm using this application here to help apply the lashes. This is from uh, Sarah G Lashes. Um, she no longer um, is open anymore, unfortunately. So I'm just taking the glue. So this glue is slightly different to um, most of the other lash glues. You actually don't need to let, this product doesn't actually need to get sticky before you apply it. It is already quite sticky. So making sure that it's an even amount on. Always adding a bit more to the inner corner because mine inner corner and outer corners always lift. So I've got the lashes on the very edge here. I find that that just helps when I apply it. Right in the center. Getting the edge right. And you want this as close to the lash line as possible. Really want it to stick in. You want it as close to the yeah, lash line as possible. And that's it. So these work, so they're thinner and then they go thick to the very edge. They can help open up the eyes. So when the lashes are a bit dry, I actually use my fingers to sort of like make sure that my lashes and the lashes are stuck together, pushing very gently. Okay, so the eyes are done and the lashes are on. So I'll finish my eye makeup look after. So I find that once I've got like the main of it, I'll do my foundation and concealer and highlighter and all of that. And then I will go in to do the lash bottom lash line and then I and then I do my inner corner highlight and brow highlight. I've got a very different routine when I'm doing a really big evening glam. I definitely think the eyes need to be done first. Just so if you are using glitter or dark eyeshadows it um, doesn't have so much fallout and ruin your foundation. So I always put it on the back of my hand, warm the product up with my fingers. So I always wash my hands as well before I do my makeup. So I've already primed and I also got rid of any fall out and glitter underneath. So now I'm just dotting the product. So I don't really have too much to cover around the up top of my face, but underneath here is where I apply most of the product because that's where my blemishes are and that's the areas that I need to have more coverage. So I kind of put it directly on where I need it. So I've done this light the top half and I add a lot more down yeah down here cool. and I don't know what brush this is it's got no name on it but these are all are uh, synthetic bristles I never use any real animal hair so I do between circular and wiping motions I just want this top half to be nice I'm soft and blended, so I'm not trying to stipple too much product in, I'm just lightly covering. Because you do want it to be an all even skin tone, but the areas where you need more coverage, you do apply more. Now it is full on storming out there, so sorry if the lighting goes in and out, it's um, super super windy. So always starting down and then working your way up to your hairline because you don't want any of the product to really be stuck in there. You just want to lightly blend it in. It's 
nice and evenly blended. And now with the bottom half, I actually stipple the product in. This is going to make sure it gets stuck in and on the blemished areas. Rather than if you're wiping it, you could be wiping it off the area that you need it the most. That makes sense. Now no extra product, we're just going to make sure we blend this down our neck. <laughs> so I'm taking my, my um, Zero Cosmetics concealer. So I use two shades. I use more of my natural tone here to cover the blemishes because you, if you're using a lighter product, it's actually going to highlight the blemishes and make them more obvious. So I'm using the lighter shade to conceal on just under my eyes. And then I'm using a more neutral, natural, the same shade as um, for the blemished areas. So where I need it the most is the inner corners right here. So by putting, putting the product here and then lightly blending it up, it's going to help lift. But that's mostly just here is where I need most of the coverage. You can seal anywhere else but just this area here. So right in that is actually the darkest point as well. Just like that. You can see it instantly helps them already. So that's when, when applying highlight and foundation and contouring, we've got to follow our our for our shapes, all of the rules about the threes, about the like, we're, like the people that use the concealers, like they do a big, big ass triangle. You don't need that much product. We're putting a little bit here. You're naturally going to blend it up and out, so like that. So you're taking it in right into that there. So where I put the eye primer that's already concealed and covered there, I'm popping that just there where it meets the shadow. And I am sort of doing paint stroke makes mo I am I am doing paint like motions. And look how much that's lightened it up for me. Just with my finger, I'm just going to make sure it's nice and blended with the warmth of my hand. And just so, just for bacteria reasons, I always do just a wipe over. And I'm going to take the foundation brush that I used before. And we're going to do the same stipple because we want this to stick on and we don't want to do wiping because you don't want to wipe it off and you don't want to interfere with the foundation underneath. Nice and blended. Now I'm blemish free. And that's why it's really important to prime your skin. Also for having a layer so the product's not going seeping into your skin. It helps fill out the pores. Helps hydrate the skin. And it helps protect the skin. So I'm taking this foundation brush here. I actually use this for my powder. I, it's a bit denser so then it gives me a bit more coverage. So I always dip my product in and then any excess powder I put into the lid and make sure I make it's all into the brush. Don't know what that what that means. So I do like the foundation, I always dot first. Adding more to where I need it the most, and then just blend. So we're just setting in all of the cream products. So I do similar motions, nice around, but also stippling as well, because you want the product to go in your skin. So it's going to set the foundation. We're going to add more coverage, set the foundation, so then it lasts all day. And you want this to go nice and into the skin. This is the sculpting powder in medium. This is a contouring powder. And that's why it's matte as well, because when you contour, you want matte. Unlike bronzing, when you're sort of 
adding a bit of a glow and bronze you want that that can be a shimmer so I'm just using the lid making sure the product's nice and even and you always want to start where you want the deepest color so we want to go deep here and then we're going to be blending it upward so I started there the most of the color would be there so I'm going in at the bottom of the hollows of my cheeks that's where I'm wanting to shade because I would like my cheekbones to pop. So working upward to the ear because where the hairline is that can be where most of the product is well because your hairline is going to help hide it. So you want to stop pretty much where you meet your eye. Any further down it's going to drag your face inward because then we want on the apples of the cheeks to be the blush and we're going to blend that inward. So I don't know if you can see the lighting but see by shading in that it gives me a bit more of a draw the cheekbone structure. I was say jawline structure but that's here so cheekbone structure. Okay adding a bit more product we're going to give some definition to the forehead and connect it all together. Again, you want to start out and you want to blend it in to the hairline and blending it outwards because you don't want too much of a shadow created. So just adding a little bit of that product there. So I connect it first, I kind of do like that, I start here then connect and then I connect here. Now I'm not going to contour too much on the nose, I'm just going to add a little bit, just ever so slightly. This just helps blend it all together with a little bit of product. Because I've got a heart shaped here, I'm wanting to sort of soften that out and create a bit more of a rounded shape. So I'm adding a little tiny bit here and then down the neck. Just to Okay, and blend it all in just so it's not so dark, 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 and then light. Alright, so this is a Jessup brush. Again, I'm just using the, the lens. So with mineral powder, I get bulk of the product in here and add a little bit to the lid and then work it into the brush, just like I do with the eyeshadow and with the um, powder, anything that's loose. So this actually has a little bit of shimmer in it as well. So we're going to smile. I don't do like a big smile, just to, just to the apples on my cheek pop out. Start there, because that's where you want most of the product. And then blend it into the contour. So bulk of the color on your apples and blending it into the contour. Not as low as a contour on the higher end. So, so the bulk of the contour is here. You're just going to on top, if that makes sense, but blending it together towards the ear. And the bronze is just going to blend on top of everything. So I'm gonna take the foundation brush, just wipe off any excess of powder that might be on there. Just a little bit. And this is just going to warm up the product ever so slightly and blend it all together. Very, very lightly. Never used to do a three step method to this either, but. And I'm going to add a lot more of the product and we're going to bronze down the neck. So this is where bulk of the product's gonna go. If you actually watch my other videos, you'll know um, that un oh, unfortunately uh, my dad um, did pass away not too long ago. Um, I'm actually wearing his ashes here. This is actually a beautiful lotus flower that you can really see it. And that's sort of new beginnings and in a way from him passing, like this is going to be a new beginning without him. So that's where that ties in. Alright, so I'm going to highlight now using, this is the Sheer Light Mineral Highlighter from MG Naturals. 
taking this round dome brush that's light and fluffy again a little bit of product on the end any excess we're going to dip in there we're going to highlight just on the very like where like you can see right there with it the, right there where the sun's going to hit so this is a very soft light highlighter it's not chunky and glittery We're going to put that on on top of where, on top, connecting it to the blush, but right at that point. So this, like where you're putting all of these products is the same initially, but you're going to follow your own structure. So, so you'll be putting it on your highest point, but your highest point is going to be different to mine, but same same but different if that makes sense down the nose and then a little bit on the forehead right again when you're looking at when the sun hits so your nose forehead and then just to help pop out the lips a little bit on the cupid's bow just using the very tip you can see what that's done right at that very arch just there you want bulk, bulk of that color just there and then I'm going to actually take off any excess and then we're just going to blend it together corners now This just helps open up the eye as well. So we're just on that very tip and I just sort of blend it a little bit in and a little bit out. See what that difference does? It just helps open it up. Outer corner. Taking the very dark shade first on the outer corner. Starting in with the very edges where it connects. So we're not going to smoke this. I'm not going to smoke this too much out. Just just on that very lower lashes. And we're going in connect like connecting them all together. And we're just going to go in that center part. And the light brown shade going to connect that from the inner corner to that medium shade. And you see what I mean by ombre? So light to dark. Just very lightly. So I'm using an I'm using inner car. I think it's organic um, Moroccan Rose a lip liner. I don't have a lip liner this exact colour, so I'm going to use this one. This one's got a bit of a like metallicness to it, but I think it'll work beautifully. Now, Jelly Wine. This is from Sugar Venom. And then the lip gloss. So a beautiful plummy type shade. I've actually got MG Naturals um, new plum shade coming soon. I can't wait to play. So we're just going to line my lips. I just follow my lip line. I don't extend it out or do a different shape or make them thicker. Quite lucky with my lips, I suppose. So I just pop them out a little bit. So this also helps stain your lips so the lipstick and the rest can last longer but also helps soften the edges so there is no feathering out and then it's also easier to apply your lipstick then as well. I'm 
metallic, so that's why it works beautifully with the metallic y um, lip liner, lip gloss. I use Trigger Venom as well. It's their fairy, they call them fairy gloss. What's this shade? This is cherry. Now, this is a very true to its color lip gloss. So I've just put it on the bottom and I'm just going to whatever that is, smack my lips together to help it blend. This is just ever so slightly deeper. But it's the combination just works beautifully. And this is the finished look. I'm just going to try and do something with my hair. Now I don't have any like hair tools here, so I'm just going to take it out and zhuzh it and then I'll show you the finished look. So this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and hopefully you can try a new techniques out or colours. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.